Most of you guys know me from YouTube and Instagram where I make tennis related content, but I'm also on TikTok. Can you ask yourself why? Well, first of all, I love the app. I think there's some great content on there. And also I wanna reach some of the younger tennis players. This is why I make a ton of TikTok content. However, if you wanna grow on TikTok, you gotta follow the TikTok trends. This is what I've been doing for the last two years or so. And let's just say some of my content, as the kids would say, is cringy. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my top five worst TikToks. And coming in at number five, it's the invisible net. For any of you guys that are into video editing, you can watch this video and see how much work I put into this one. This is really some uh, masterclass editing. And coming in at number four is the Phil Collins. I'm sure you know the song in the air tonight when the drums kick in. Well, I had the great idea of smashing ball cans with my feet to the beat. And let's just say the idea was good, but the execution was horrendous. And coming in at number three is the toilet paper green screen. I don't even remember how I did this, to be quite honest with you, but this was a trend on TikTok. And I remember uh, this was when the tennis courts opened back up. And so I was very excited uh, to get back on the courts. And that's when I made this spectacular video. And coming in at number two is the serve target practice with obstacles. Now I gotta explain this one a little bit or you'll think I'm completely crazy, but during the lockdown, there was no tennis courts available. I had to come up with different ways to play tennis at home. And something I did was take a moving box, cut holes into it, and I was aiming through the holes. This was a lot of fun and it's really a legitimate way to practice your accuracy at home. But this wasn't enough. I had to step up my game a bit, so I placed the moving box across the pool and I was trying to get the target that way. And this was, let's just say, unnecessary and I might or might not have thrown myself into the pool on purpose. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cringy, so unnecessary, but it's nothing compared to my number one worst TikTok of all time, which is kind of similar to this one, but I had to step up my game. So I took a ball machine, I placed it across the pool, and I had a bucket, and I was trying to work on my feel, I guess, and I was trying to get the balls into the bucket from a ball machine. This is so stupid. And believe it or not, the degree of difficulty on this one, it was actually quite high. It took a while uh, to get these things into a bucket, and then of course, uh, throwing myself in the pool at the end. So let's just say this did not go over well. People were confused and it did not get tons of views. But nevertheless, I love TikTok and I love making content for TikTok. So if you haven't yet, follow me on TikTok and I'll try to make content that's a little bit less cringy.